Hello everyone and welcome to Beyond Focus TV. My name is Angie Daniel and I am your hostess for the show. Tonight we are meeting with two representatives of the 17th Annual Haitian Miss International. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome Miss Georgie. Hello, how are you, Angie? I am great, thanks. Nice to see you. Nice seeing you too. <laughs> um, you know what? I've wanted. I first and foremost, I wanted to say um, welcome, welcome Thank to Beyond Focus TV. Thank you. Um, you know, for those of the people who are within the community who don't know who you are, mm -hmm. um, within the Haitian community, you are. You know, seriously, uh, phenomenal. Like you are. <laughs> she's as on the same level as Patti LaBelle is in America. And within so the Haitian, <laughs> wow. you are, you are. So, um, you know, tell them a little bit about you, and then you know, then I take it from there. Well, you know, I started um, singing since I was a little girl. I started singing in church and gospel choir. Mm -hmm. um, also in school, and I. Um, Where did you go to high school? I went to uh, Rasmus. Okay. So, um, I, a lot of people know. I know, I, I actually yeah. only remember you from yeah. City College. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> we, that's the first, I think we, we performed there also when yeah. they first came out. So basically, you know, I um, grew up in, you know, doing all those things, you know, in school and, um, you know, all the shows, you know, and professionally, I started doing it, you know, at the age of, you know, like um, 12, 13 years old, okay. you know. So, basically, um, you know, I was into modeling. I love I the way you're saying acting. that. Yeah, you're making it sound like, oh, you know, I was just doing that. So, let me tell the community <laughs> exactly what you did. Georgie was the person, the first Haitian female artist, I have to say that. <laughs> That performers that actually dance on stage. I remember you with your okay. with your white dress. I remember that. <laughs> I mean, male and female would stand in front of you and watch the whole night. I was one of them. So wow, <laughs> you know, night. so we had <laughs> no. We, you had your moment, and and you, I think, kind of like um, crashed a whole lot of barriers mm -hmm. for for our community. Because if anybody knows the Caribbean community, community is that mm -hmm. we are very close minded. Exactly. In terms of how, yeah, in yeah. terms of, of sexuality, mm -hmm. how people look at us, how exactly. we we are perceived. That's true. And um, to have you come on stage, mm -hmm. and then kind of like say, you know what, this is who I am. I am. Mm -hmm. I'm not only a great singer, mm -hmm. but I'm also a great performer. I'm a great dancer. I look good. I exactly. perform well. And that's true. you you did all of that. Mm -hmm. You know, since 1988, I remember. I mean, that's like putting my, my age yeah. out there. But <laughs> <laughs> well, like, you know. <laughs> You know, I mean, actually, they started, you know, they started it at, um, I mean, in 1985. Yeah. You know, they wow. were, you know, um, you think it's on La before 1989. So basically, that's how we started, you know, and how I started, I, how I got into the group, um, Kino and Jensen mm -hmm. and Richard Hebert. Um, also Clifford Sylvain, they had introduced me to Alan and Alex mm -hmm. and um, I remember that night I was performing, you know, um, at, um, at the school and um, Wisha was one of them and Kino was there too and I was singing a song, you know, by Whitney Houston, you know, You're Still My Man and they were like, wow, oh my God, she's Haitian? I can't believe this. Mm -hmm. So, and um, Kino came to me, he was like, you know, I love the way you sing, I like the way you sound, I can believe you're Asian. I said, yeah, why not? Do we have a way to look, you know? Yeah, yeah. Do, I do, you know, it's I sing a certain way to look, you know? So he was like, no, you sound so good and so deep, so your voice is so, yeah. you know, powerful. I said, well, thank you. So now, 
it was me, Celine, Maggie Forrest, you know, mm -hmm. they wanted to do, I don't know if you remember that group, um, Sound Machine. Yes, yeah. I remember, yeah. Yeah, yeah. from yeah. Martinique. Mm -hmm. And they wanted to put a group together like that. So we, we went to Alex and um, for him to put the group together. So it wasn't successful. So, you know. Um, well, everything happened Exactly. So I guess <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's a long story. So, you know, that's how I got, you know, um, into the group. And um, so me and Maggie, you know, we got together. We stayed in Celine, you know, um, we shy. I think he didn't want Celine to be a part of it anymore. Yes, yes. So, you know, um, I guess he was like. Mm, That's a I'm whole lot of story. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so basically, uh, you know, me and Maggie, we, you know, we you stayed in the group. We joined, you know, the group together. And. Yes, so um, from from then until today, because you know one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about is is to mm -hmm. how you get involved with the Miss Haiti International. Mm -hmm. I know you're performing that night. I know you are one of the greatest performers that are going to be there that night. So explain to me, you as a woman, how do you how how do you emanate like the personhood into this 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 organization? Talk to me about what you're going to do there. Well, um, this is not the first time you know I'm going to be a part of you know this. Mm -hmm. show yes. you know Lamar he yes. always you know um, do the show every year mm -hmm. I think every year yeah if I'm not mistaken so basically um, we have known each other for a long time mm -hmm. so he called me he said Georgie you know I would like for you to be a part of the show this year um, it's been a while since mm -hmm. you know um, a lot of people haven't put this Together. Yeah. Yes, it's a lot and of work. And I was like, okay, that sounds great. So he was like, you know, he wanted to do one down here, mm -hmm. merge everything together, and one in Haiti. And I, yeah, said, I can't well, wait to sit down and talk to him about I that. Know, whole right? merging. <laughs> <laughs> but talk to me about you as a performer for for you that night. What it's going to represent? Well, it's going to be um, great. It's going to be like you know, um, I mean. Um, I mean, sometimes, you know, I don't like to tell people what I'm going to do. I know. You know, I like to surprise them. I like to for them to come and see the whole show. So are you telling me there's going to be like you know, a lot of surprises for me? Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, definitely. Okay, so they will have to come and, you know, just and see and see everything, see everything with their own eyes. So, you know, it's because it's going to be like crazy. Yeah. You know, I mean, as, as a performer, because I think one of the things that I spoke to you earlier about is seeing young women trying to um, go within like a production uh, like for example a H HMI mm -hmm. um, world right now what would you give them as a piece of advice in terms of how to, because from from Miss Miss Haiti mm -hmm. International they could go into other things into as performers as you know actress and actors mm -hmm. and, and future producers themselves what would be your advice to them well my advice to them it's like um, it's to be careful it's not an easy business, you know. It's, <laughs> you know, it's not easy at all, and um, it's a dirty business. And for anybody to have a man, a man uh -huh. to do a show like that, it means a lot. It means a lot. Why? Because you know, usually you don't see men backing up, up women. women like that. Mm -hmm. You know, they always want something. Yes. You know, yes. if I'm helping you, there's a now they, there's a reason. Mm -hmm. I want something from you, yeah. too. So he's not that type of guy. You know, we worked together before, mm -hmm. you know, since, you know, and say. And, um, but these days, the way that certain men, they be approaching women, mm -hmm. you know, like to work with them or, you know, to do something with them, it's like, you got to give am me I gonna something. Get out of what this? am I going to get, yeah. you know, as, mm -hmm. you know, t um, from beneficiary, yeah. you know, it's like an exchange exactly. for them. For, for and I'm like, wow, this is, you That's know, how it is. crazy. So, you know, it's like, you know, um, it was tough growing up in this business. It was kind of tough, but I had my mother, my parents, you know, you know, yeah. to help you exactly. So basically, um, when it's come to that, they got to, be really really careful okay. and um, it's not easy comme si m'dadzo pour jouer like I said before on garçon ton you know to promote to promote women like that yeah. and it means a lot to me it's I mean like I, I would say personally I think uh, I, I remember I spoken to him I have met him like a year mm -hmm. ago so we, he was talking about the show and and for me 
I always look at things from different angles. You know what I mean? And his idea, he's so psyched about this. Mm -hmm. He's so psyched about the show. He's so psyched about getting people. You, you understand? Exactly. Getting young women involved. Getting it young does. women to be exposed. And even, so, even yeah. if, you know, let's say you're a producer, you know, I'm working with you. Mm -hmm. Even if you want something from me, don't approach me like that. Yeah. You know, keep see feeling mashé, vini, mete pie, okay, fine. We gotta but help. I want to do an interview don't, just you. <laughs> don't approach me like, you know, look, you gotta give me something, something for us to work right, together. Yeah. No, okay. come on now. Cool. This is crazy. You know what I'm saying? So they 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 have to be careful and you know, I would tell them also like to um have fun. if they I they know. want something to go for it and um be cautious and um you know if they be they have to believe in this in themselves, you know. Um, okay, this is what I want. This is what I'm gonna do. Just There's go for it. For Don't it, let yeah. nobody, you know, hold them back. Okay. You know, they have to be really determined. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm that I want. This is what I want. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. And don't let nobody talk to them, them out of it. Okay, and, you know, because you know, some people like, oh, you're not gonna be able to do this to yeah. do that. So you know, there are negative people out there. So you know, try always to you know surround yourself with, with positive, positive people, people. so see. you know when you surround yourself with negative people they're going to pull you back mm -hmm. you know so you want people to set you know to surround yourself with positive people that can lift up your soul and you know to boost you up you know your energy that's the kind of energy you need you know around you okay so. cool we're going to take a short break because i know i want to bring lamar in to just talk okay. about the idea of the show and what what you know miss haiti international represents to him because we're talking on, on his behalf without having him put in his two words into it we're going to take a short break we'll be back because I, I need to speak sure. to you you are like <laughs> wow, inspirational. Okay. we're going to take Thank a short you. break we'll be right back <laughs> La troupe Anna Kaona, Don Junior, Alan Kavey, la sensation d'honneur, Juanito, et enfin Jacob Z en live. International Star Production persiste et signe cette affiche. Venez vivre le drame du jury qui sera dans l'embarras du choix au milieu de toutes ces belles femmes en fleurs. Et partagez du même coup l'émotion de celle qui sera couronnée Miss Haiti. Ce dimanche 30 septembre 2012 au théâtre du Brooklyn College. Showtime 7 heures pile. Prix du bien en prévente 40 dollars, enfant 15 dollars. Info 516 451 90 78 646 752 47 89. Welcome back to Beyond Focus TV. Earlier, I was having this, I mean, I would say like a great conversation with Georgie talking about the 17th annual Miss Haiti International. And then I wanted to bring forth the person behind the whole idea, Monsieur Lionel Lamar. Welcome, sir. Thank you, Angie, for having me. Thank you. Anytime, anytime. So what I, you know, earlier the conversation started with what this represents. Um, per her, pers her perspective is that you are so beyond this in, in a way of lifting up 
young women's um, spirit. How did you come about creating that idea? First of all, in the Haitian community, when I was a, a, a young producer, <laughs> <laughs> now I am one, <laughs> there, there was a kind of shortage of those kind of new mm -hmm. ideas mm -hmm. to get Haitian together. Yes. And I've been uh, fighting for the longest to have Haitian uh, women from different places to get mm -hmm. together. First, I started with Miss uh, uh, Inter University. Okay. I gathered uh, different uh, beautiful young ladies from different the universities, universities and okay. we get them together. At that time, Haitians didn't uh, uh, get together for whatever reason, mm -hmm. because uh, of fear of political, mm -hmm. uh, uh, whatever it was, Different but okay. that was the, the starting point. Mm -hmm. Uh, when Miss Haiti started, uh, that was uh, a long time ago. 17 years ago. 17. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, we had to fight on different level. First of all, Haitian they don't uh, want to to lose first. Yes, <laughs> that is not true. They I don't, don't like to lose. lose. Yeah. For that, they don't want to participate. They okay. don't want to get involved. Okay. But when finally you get few of them to get involved in different activities and it, uh, it is a lifetime experience okay. for them. Right. And most of them right there on the spot, the next thing they get married. Okay. Right there. Did you did that? Yeah. Talk about that. But this year, <laughs> <it will be> <laughs> <laughs> this, this year we have, uh, we, we're going to have Miss Haiti in two levels. I, that's what I wanted to talk to you yes. about. Because when I read the whole profile of mm -hmm. the show, I'm thinking like, this is extremely interesting because you're going to have one on the 15th of September. On the 15th in Haiti. In Haiti. So how are you, explain this to me. How do you do the merging? Like when do you do the merging? How do you, what, what do you base it on? I'm sorry, like it's a three part question. Yes. Uh, first of all, we have those uh, young ladies in Haiti. We have a casting from the 10th department. Okay. okay, so that's only Haitians that are in Haiti, yeah. young Haitian women that are in Haiti. In Haiti. Okay. And uh, we have a casting he here, and okay. we get a uh, Miss Canada, a uh, Boston, and those people, we get them together, we're going to fly them to Haiti. So the ones from here? Yeah, they're going to be They're going to go in Haiti? In Haiti. So to everybody's going to go in Haiti? Yes. Oh, okay. And all of them will be coming back on the 30th for the final set of Okay, but wh Haiti. why? Why why the two sets of um why it it is a, a that involvement mm -hmm. that will dare them to participate okay. to know Haiti better. We go okay. we have a uh, teachers in Haiti teaching young ladies manners. Okay. Those, those simple things that you women maybe sometimes you forget. That's true. Then That's true. we have people to teach them things that for life they're going to have having etiquette I, I like that i like the idea of having someone to teach because etiquette could involve so many other things yes yeah. it's, it's not just about you know like how to sit down with a fork and knife it's not about that it's about yeah. how to express yourself publicly, exactly how to represent your country i love so what you are really doing is promoting haiti in itself exactly okay. uh, from those models mm -hmm. uh, i believe that other people will see that because we're going to be broadcasting yes. live from haiti to the mm -hmm. world and live from new york to the world Okay. For those people. And we have a different side in Haiti because in Haiti we have history. Yes. And we have to teach them. Yes. Especially those living here. not only here yes. but also in Haiti. They don't really get involved to know exactly what Haiti is all about. If okay. every young people, girls or boys, they, they had somebody to teach them the values of Haiti, I think we, we were going to have a better nation, a better Haiti. And may, if I can do one small part of part it, of that. I think that uh, God will reward me for, for I, that. I like that. I like the fact that you are trying to um, not only promote Haiti, because I think you, you just said it. One of the things that we lack of is the understanding of who we are, yes. our expectation, yes. what kind of people we are, what we represent. And how do we bring forth getting younger generation to understand this is this is what Haiti is all about. It's, yeah. it's not just from 1804. Like it's part of history, 1804. We are... Uh, a, a proud group of people yes you know and and as haitians you need to to get other people to understand that i need yeah. to get the youngest generation to understand that as haitians this is this is what you need to promote this is what you need to understand this is what you need to believe in that's right and mm -hmm. from my experience uh, in haitian show business i can see that those young people they want to be involved mm -hmm. but uh, to find the uh, right person to to guide them mm -hmm. 
uh, to do the right thing, it's very difficult because they are exposed to so many other yes. bad things. Yes. But uh, our mission will be to promote the good things, the good side of Haiti, and showcase to the world that we Haitian, we are a very, very, very proud nation, and we can do things Sorry. if only we have the chance to okay. do it. You know, and one of the questions I didn't have yes. a chance to ask you is what what creates the criteria of a participant? What would be needed yes. for, for you uh, to be You must be Haitian in 1825 years. So is it Haitian descendant? Because how about if you were born up here? Yeah, you're Haitian still descendant. Haitian, yes. Okay. And 1825, mm -hmm. you must be five five minimum or one 140 pounds. Okay. You must have a high school diploma. I you need that. a, a, a <laughs> portfolio. Portfolio uh, of what? What your pictures, pictures and mm -hmm. stuff like that in case that a, a, a model agency a, a, yeah want to to have some information with okay. uh, about you you can just okay. send that to them and that uh, you willing and able to participate in a show because miss Haiti is a show okay you have to be part of the show okay. not just a uh, come you know to to win a prize but you have to participate to get involved to work together with your competitor Okay. and produce the best of you that night okay we're going to uh, we're going to take a short break when i come back i want you to tell me what the show is going to entail that whole night like okay. what should my my public be expected from you like what All should right. the expectation should be like because i'm okay. feeling it but i want to hear it All right. we're going to take a short break we'll be right back Welcome back to Beyond Focus TV. We are here having a conversation with Mr. Lionel Lamar, talking about Miss Haiti International. This event is going to happen. We have not spoken about the date or what the show is going to entail, so can you tell me about yeah, it? Yeah, the dates will be uh, September 15. Yes, that's in, in Haiti. Haiti. Where is that going to happen? At? That will be Caribe Convention Center. Okay. Uh, that's a beautiful place in Haiti. Welcome to everybody. Go over there and be part of the show. Uh -huh. And also on September 30th at Brooklyn College, uh -huh. uh, 7 p.m. sharp, and you come and you'll be a part of history. That will be a beautiful show, as usual. We always put beautiful show. It Who will are going to be the performers? The Besides performers, George, because uh, I know George. Uh, is yes, be we there. have a uh, Alan Gavi uh -huh. from there. Also, uh -huh. we're going to have a uh, Tantan Stanley Toussaint uh, from My Miami, favorite. and we're going to have Juanito Tikabzi, and what else? Uh, we have other performers, yes. Okay. Yeah. And Le Frère de Honnet. Okay. And it would be, and we're going to have a, a dance in group. Haiti, a dance group yes. in Haiti, and also one, one in, up here. yes, okay. a, 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 in New York, yes. Okay. And both shows will be broadcasted live in Haiti and around the world for people to see. Uh, the best of Haitian that night. I, I, I'm, I'm looking yes. forward to it. If anybody would like to get in touch with you, what, where can they reach you at? And you forget to mention, yes. where, is, it, be gonna, is uh, it going to be a paid program? Or? Yes, uh, 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 the ticket will be $40. Uh -huh. And f my phone number will be 516-451-9078. Uh -huh. And uh, we can, I am on Facebook also, Lionel Lamar, and lionelamartyahoo.com so many places that we can get in touch with you and also our office is uh, located on Flatbush Avenue 1161 Flatbush Avenue that is corner of Dorchester in Brooklyn you can uh, stop by for more information and if in case that you you want to participate next year yeah uh, uh, to be a, a, a contestant welcome and we are waiting for you Okay, and what, what you didn't you said the number so fast that I'm not sure the community heard it. All right, the n telephone number is 516 mm -hmm. 451 9078, and we are located at 1161 1161 Fatbush Avenue at the corner of Dorchester Road and Lino Lamar L I O N E L L A M A R R E at yahoo.com. Two things I wanted to, to talk about, and one of them is that I know the show itself promotes young the younger generation to know who they are but in every miss of anything mm -hmm. there's a benefit besides the self-promoting yes. mm -hmm. what are the, the things that you're promoting what are the giveaways yes uh, giveaways will be a brand new car Yay! those those are a gift from the a, from haiti okay the, not only digicel uh -huh. as a sponsor but also the haitian government okay. will, is the main sponsor of everything air mm -hmm. france will be paying for their tickets and hotel okay. hotel will be moulin sur mer 
mm -hmm. uh, those of you who know Muniz, I've been there. Here, <laughs> then that's the place to be. Uh, from next two weeks, with the contestant coming all over from Canada, Boston, New York, uh, and meeting those in Haiti. Yeah. Um, yes. One of the things that I would I would ask you, I don't know if it's if it's part of what you offering because it's important for our young people to give back. Right? Yes. In terms of their time. Yes. Mm -hmm. In terms of understanding the needs of the country that they're representing. Do you have any idea if they're going to work with any other organizations to 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 donate time, to volunteer or anything? Well definitely, like that? Yeah. definitely. What will happen for those uh, uh, winners mm -hmm. right they'll be working all year long you know mm -hmm. to promote not only Haiti but the values of Haitian yes and working with uh, different organizations they, they they are already working in Haiti okay. and some of them here are volunteer you know to mm -hmm. to help the cause of Haiti okay. and I expect that to be uh, the way for the next year yes and for others to to join uh, in yes definitely yes. Yeah. I think uh, 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 your audience will be ve ve very glad to be part of this show because this show will be a very. I mean, from talking to you and Georgie, I can I can hear it. I can hear, I can see how you guys are are so proud of what you're doing. I'm really proud of you for putting this together because Thank not you. too many people will stand behind and say, "Let me put let me put a show where a younger generation will benefit from it. Let me just do something not only to generate cash but to also get." people to understand yes of mm -hmm. us as a people I, I think a lot of time we are forgotten oh yeah definitely. As, a, yeah. as a nation yeah we, we have, have to group, keep on you know. striving you know to, to get the message out uh, yeah. Asian, we, we there are better things that we can uh, project yeah. instead of those things uh, they yeah, want the negative to negative things that they, yeah, want they want to, to show yeah yeah no because that's we not have, all we're all about no, yes no. we have other things we, and we are educators that's our mission we are yes yeah we definitely are doctors, we are definitely we we're going to uh, uh, do it and for the world to see that there are a uh, better things in haiti and better people and better stuff yeah then that's our mission to do that. we are down but we're not yes. dying no, no. <laughs> we mm. are promoting ourselves to better yes, places definitely. mr lamar i am looking forward to the show i am looking forward to attending the show i'm looking forward to bringing the uh, younger people from my home to to your show all right thank okay. you thank you so much and they're going to have a, a the best time of their life yes i know thank that. you I thank know. you for having me you you are so welcome um you know this is the end of our show. I am hoping that you at least have enjoyed talking to both Georgie and Michelle Lamar about this beautiful night, that the event that's going to happen. Yes. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Right. And this is the end of our show. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you next Tuesday, same place, same time. Thanks. Bye-bye. This was good, right? Yeah. You did a good job. Yeah. Very good.